Okay, so this is my free ear trainer that you can find at trainear.com. It's browser based, so you can just play it from your browser. You don't need to download anything. You can if you want. It's only 132K. It's a very small file. And I try to make it as perfect as possible so you can associate intervals to actual songs. So with this, you can start getting better and better and better until you can actually play the songs by ear. Okay, let me show you how it works. If I click play, it's actually going to give me uh, one of these answer choices. So it's actually going to give me one of 12 questions. I don't want that. If you're a beginner, you don't want to uh, test yourself on 12 questions at a time. So it's better if I just uncheck, uh, uncheck different intervals so it only tests me on a few. I've unchecked them all. Let's say uh, perfect fifth and perfect fourth. If you'll notice, I'm using the standard notation. But underneath, you'll see how many uh, notes away the actual interval is. So this is a distance of seven between notes, and it's called a perfect fifth. So you can associate either way. It doesn't really matter. After you've selected the intervals you want, you can select different settings, like ascending plays uh, two notes, one going up. And then uh, this one plays one note going down. And this one plays a harmonic, two notes at the same time. This one randomizes between ascending and descending, and this one plays ascending, then it plays a harmonic, and then it plays descending. So let's just keep it simple. <laughs> Don't get overwhelmed just by that explanation. Let's just select ascending and click play. Now it plays a perfect sine wave. It's a sine wave instead of, let's say, piano, just so you don't confuse the timbre of the instrument whenever the inter intervals are played. You can just concentrate on the quality of the intervals. Now, uh, in this case, uh, that interval sounded like Here Comes the Bride. Do, 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 do. So the cool part about this program is if I miss the interval, it'll actually play the associated song. So listen. And it's even better because you can associate any song you want. Uh, if I click Songs, uh, I can go to Perfect Fourth, and it, it'll it'll have Here Comes the Bride, La Marseille, Mon Beau Sapin, Amazing Grace, or some Super Mario RPG song. Uh, it has several choices you can associate with that particular interval. And in fact, you can just add you can add your own interval. Right here's the distance between notes, and here's the speed. One being a, a quarter note, two being an eighth note, four being a sixteenth note, and so on. So you can just put comma, three, comma, two, and set up your own song association. Uh, you can also just play it from here. So if you've never heard the name of some of these songs, you can just go ahead and select it and play. Most of these are really common, so you should recognize at least the first ones on the list. Okay, I've reset the program. I'm going to explain what all this stuff is. It's actually just the statistics. The blue bars indicate your current score. You start with 100%. You have 100% score for all intervals. You haven't taken any questions. Uh, so let me just play an interval so you can see how the statistics works. First, let's get one right. And that's actually a minor third. So if I click it, it'll update the statistics. Um, and now it played a different question automatically. It played a different interval, uh, which is a minor seventh. But let's get it wrong with a major seventh. And as we said before, it'll play. It'll show you the correct answer in the corner here, which is a minor seventh. Now, if I play, if I click the minor seventh, it'll update the statistics to show we've gotten it wrong. As you can see, now I have a zero percent score for minor seventh. If I click M7 up here in the blue buttons, in the green buttons, it'll actually show me what I confused it with. So the more questions you get, the more detailed and good the statistics will be. And uh, since you can disable any interval, you can disable the ones you're good at and enable the ones that you're having trouble with. Just enable the hardest ones for you and just practice those. Okay, next I'm going to cover the other different features. Uh, first, let's cover the slider bars. Actually, you can increase or decrease the speed of the question using these things. Just select harmonic to make it obvious. 
and the song is very very fast because the slider bar is up and if I lower it and repeat it'll be way more drawn out I can put it even lower right here uh, I can also increase the loudness or decrease the loudness with this slider I also have options here harmonic is uh, the two notes played at the same time I can play songs that are associated with uh, ascending and songs that are associated with descending Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, in songs we have two columns, uh, for example, major se minor second and minor second here. The difference between the two columns is all these are ascending and all these are descending. Like for release is a descending minor second, and you can go ahead and hear it here. So yeah, and all these are ascending. So again, the first option, we can play ascending on harmonic or descending on harmonic. It may be able uh it may be easier just to associate ascending songs for descending. Instead, you just flip the interval in your head and associate the other ascending songs instead of playing a whole nother set of songs that you have to memorize. So that's this option. Also, remember before it showed the feedback right here, which questions you got wrong or right. You can actually disable that by clicking here. You can also delete all statistics. Let's delete them and see, it's all reset. You can also save your progress. This saves all your songs, all your statistics, all your options. Just copy it to clipboard, just clicking this button, and then save it to a file or somewhere safe, and then when you want to import it, just paste and all your statistics, all your options will be set to exactly how you left them. Alright, so that's all there is to it. You click play, you click the answer, you repeat over and over and over again until you get it perfect. And then you can start playing songs by ear, just associating the distances between notes. How long will it take? I don't know. Two weeks? A month? It really doesn't matter. It won't take forever. It won't take a year. It's only 12 intervals, so it's not a big deal. It really just depends how fast you can associate the song to the interval and how much time you put into it. Maybe 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day, an hour a day, maybe you might finish it in a week, who knows. Interval identification is the foundation for a lot of other stuff in ear training, so if you master it, it'll help you get down other concepts in ear training too. For example, let's say somebody's playing guitar chords and you want to isolate uh, the chords. They're playing three notes at the same time or more. Uh, all you have to do is train chord identification. If you have interval identification, it's actually a lot easier to train chord identification. Let's say if you, you want to be a jazz man, you want to train jazz. Jazz is just improvisation, which is basically intervals plus scales. So all you have to do is train additionally scales to see what scale the song is being played in. So you can start improvising in it. Playing by ear is a very impressive skill to have and it will help a lot in the future. I wish I had started interval identification a lot earlier, and I hope you have the opportunity to do so.